Chapter 3, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. The burning ground. It's on fire. Fire! Oh, yes, this is continuing on from the last video. That's right. <laughs> when she threw that building at that guy. Alright. That's some kind of special angelic language they're speaking. Uh, I think so, yeah. Mm. I think it's an Ocean. Or something like something similar. Also, if you look carefully, there is a crow somewhere in this cutscene. I will keep an eye out. <laughs> if I was your child, I'd be an awfully ugly witch. Oh, snap. Oh. <laughs> you got told. Man. Yeah, awesome. you got told. <laughs> Just missed it. Oh, crap. That's no big deal. I, I only actually noticed it when I was recording. Oh. I was like, huh, I didn't see that before. No quarrel. You're in no position to decide that. Yeah, I just threw a rock at your face. Also, I should mention her, her ribbon that she wears in her hair. It says Bayonetta. Over and over again in okay. Demon Text. Guys, just like, man, this bitch is talking way too long. Let's just go. I'm gonna get out of here. More streetcars? Oh, no. So, for some reason, he made the, the ground explode. And so, because of that, every time, if you ever touch lava, you get hurt. Uh. Environmental kills are awesome. Yeah, you would hurt if you touch lava. So these enemies here are on fire, and you can't hit them directly, otherwise you'll get uh, injured. So the only way you can hit them is with long range attacks or with wicked waves. Or if you go into witch time, you can hit them. You can also use torture attacks and then pick up their weapons and use that instead. You can finish them off with your, their own weapons. Oh. Yeah. It's like the ultimate insult or something. Haha. <laughs> 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 it's like, you're feeling down, I'll beat you I'll beat you to death with your dog too. Kind of thing. I'm just being really cautious here because I got burned. Quite literally. Uh -huh. A lot when I was recording this. Uh huh. That was a bad joke. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> thank you. At least I have a fan. Mm -hmm. So that means no pure platinum for you? No, I cut that shit out. Ah. Oh. oh, pure belt. Yeah, you. I, I won't get it if if, uh, if I get hit, but I won't keep those in. So you're not going to see me get hit ever. <laughs> Except you, maybe, you, like, you, you get burned. What? Huh? Oh yeah, if I get burned. <laughs> now normally the alpha I'm here is hidden. It's over there. Oh yeah. But there's usually a bin there. If you shoot it, the alpha appears. But yeah. first off, well, it's like you're not going to play it. Get. Of course not. We have a crow to get. Oh, there it is. And yeah, for some reason the uh, the witch coffins they spawn again. Don't know why. Someone kindly refilled them. So annoying. This one actually isn't too much of a pain if you have a certain weapon. Stay in the air. Oh. It's a lot harder, as you would imagine, on uh. harder difficulties. So technique, technique here pretty much involves using this thing called step off. If you're close enough to an enemy in the air, then you can jump off of them, and you can, and that resets your jump, your jump thing. Fail. Oh. 
There's actually a lot of ways to stay in the air, though, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was close. close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> But yeah, if you use, uh, if you charge Shiraba in the air, you get about six or seven seconds of air time. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to remember. Take note, guys. <laughs> Must break all branches. This bit here caused me so much grief. <laughs> right. Oh, it looks okay. it looks pretty easy, but to get pure platinum on this, it's a bitch. Like I said, they can grab you in between their legs. And if you get if you so much touch that wall of lava, you You're are dead. dead. Okay. Can't you just let the wall of lava just finish off the bad guys? Well you can, but this is actually a verse, so you need to get a certain number of combo points. Oh, okay. The actual number being about two fifty. Uh, so here's what happens if you get hit by the lava, I guess. See, I just sort of walked into it accidentally. It's like, whoops, you're dead. But yeah, that never happened. New angel type. These guys can be rather annoying. And they're hardly fair. Aww. Yeah, I, I go for the obvious jokes, mm. so yeah. You don't come in with sophisticated jokes. I mean, these guys are pretty easy to read if you know what to look for, but they're pretty damn fast. Mm. Also, what oh. she says here is. She says ten lock, which means die ah. or death. Which is rather appropriate. Hmm. What, what's a giant wheel you just use? It's a wheel of torture. It actually oh. says wheel of torture on it. Okay. In uh, in in demon script. And an LP. Yeah. Half an LP. Half oh, okay. Shouldn't oh, be breaking golden LPs. I mean, oh. they're not that brittle. They're probably really soft. Fantasy and Bronto. Huh. But yeah, fire everywhere, really annoying. You can get a weapon that actually allows you to walk on fire. Actually, two weapons. But that's not until a bit later. Okay. Oh yeah, and those dustbins, they say dustbin in Angel script. <laughs> That's appropriate. Yep. Just in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, we can go through there, but there's an Alfine back here. Where is it? Where? No. Where do you think it is? I don't know. Uh... It's yes. not under the bridge. No. Is it over? Is it over the bridge? No. Oh, it's there it is. over uh... the bridge. Well done. Japol and Tar. This one, yeah, it's kind of meh. One thing that's good about though is you don't really need to worry about keeping your combo, because uh. the number of combo points you get for using angel arms is really high. Uh. Oh, those are angel arms, okay. It's like thinking literally Not actual arms. arms <laughs> <of angels>. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> English is confusing. But yeah, this is pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like <laughs> <a> nice language. 
But yeah, this pretty much shows that the bow is the best weapon. Uh, it kicks some ass. It kills most enemies in one hit, and some in two or three, so yeah. Pretty awesome. And I let my combo break there, but no big deal. Simple stuff. Oh, with the oh stop again. telling me yeah. that I'm naughty. <laughs> Yay, longer health bar. I actually once saw a game, a playthrough of Bayonetta, which was on the hardest difficulty, and they had started a new game, so they hadn't got mm -hmm. any of the new weapons yet, and they yeah. started with just handguns for the first one, the first level. And the first level on the hardest level is really effing difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, you got enemies which everyone, I'm pretty sure, hates. And yet, they give you, like, a bunch of them at the beginning. Oh, what just happened? Uh, oh. there was a bit of, like, lava spurting up between yeah. the doorway. So you gotta pause time to oh. get through it. Giant wall. Like okay, this is a reference. This is a reference. True. I believe it's Beautiful Joe. Okay. But I might is that have a Sega that. game? Beautiful Joe? No, huh. it's a uh, Clover game. Yeah, but it's not Sega. Yeah. Oh, there's, <coughs> but they make references to like non-Sega games too? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. They make references to their own games, which is pretty cool. Okay, I can talk about this one too. Pierre Ixley. Uh... It means heavenly ones all stirred up. Ah, like Ixnay on the. Yeah, it's kind of like Pig Lap. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're walking on the wall again. Yeah, very so, specific times you can. Yeah, so I was wondering what. So whenever this. the moon comes out. Uh -huh. huh. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait, no, I can jump. Sea of lava. You can actually fall into that if you're not careful. And you lose a chunk of health, understandably. Yes. This bloody ball of lava is just chasing us everywhere. It's like it knows or something. Like, I'm gonna kill you. Like, come back! I just wanted to tell you I love your hair. <laughs> I think one time I was recording this and I was doing a pure platinum run and I missed that QTE and I was like, Fuck. oh my god, because I, because, you know, I've played this game that many times I should know what the QTE is, but no. This is, this is that run here. I was like, oh, I know what to press, I'll press jump. No, it's square. Yes, they're over. No flavor text for this. More lava. Still pretty cool looking though. New note. Uh, it's all words about nothing really. That's why I've kept them out of the video. Hey, did you like these guys? Because there's now two of them. Essentially the time to dodge for these guys is when you see a flash in their little halo thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 And it's also a very easily telegraphed one, which is when they uh, shoot fireballs, but they don't do that when they're in pairs. So can you use like the environment on those people? Like you yeah, just throw you a can car at, you... at them or something? Yeah, you can throw the car at them if you really want to, but... Um, I don't remember if this verse is very strict on time, but... Yeah. If you want to be fancy, sure, go ahead. <laughs> but I'm not fancy, I just play the game. Yeah. 
No, I wanted those halos. Stop it. More street cars. Yeah. Oh. Now let's see if you can figure out what's happening in this in this cutscene. Is she shooting at the lava? I don't actually know if you can fail this QTE. But if you go if you can't mash it enough, maybe you die. So no. As always, there is something behind you when you land in. Yeah, that's it's video game logic. Yep. So. So where are you now? Bottom of we some pit. We are or? underneath Vigrid. Where it happens to be very lavarous. Lavarous? Gee. Yeah, that's... 6 a.m. Of course I'm making up yeah. words. Sounds like a good word. Ha! Ah, you missed. And now you pay. Yeah, even if you hit these flaming guys with a sword, you will get hurt for some reason. Like, they're obviously so hot that the blade is just really yeah. getting really hot. It's a good thing she can undress herself. Oh yeah. She can probably dress those wounds too. Uh... <laughs> God, I'm making like such dumb jokes at this time of the day. <laughs> So here we are, in Vigrid Catacombs. There's a store there, but we won't bother with that yet. Because yeah. I want to notes. streamline all this. Words. Seriously, the guy, um, I guess I should mention the guy who writes those notes is named Antonio Redgrave. Which I believe is a reference to some character in Devil May Cry or something. Oh yeah, Tony Redgrave, hey, which was Stargate. Dante's... Oh. Is it Dante? Dante's alias uh -huh. or something. Well, I'm gonna jump over it. Nope, no. No, she can't do that. She's gonna use the Stargate. No? Oh. I guess it is kind of like a Stargate. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched that show in years. Oh. oh, too hard. Yeah, that's oh. pretty easy. One Halo. That seems so like yeah, it. it becomes a portal to a different dimension. Everything is all watery it's and flowery all, and it's yeah. all floaty and there's heaps of feathers so asthmatics must have a hard time here. Alright, so you can use these statues to go up to the top there on the geysers, mm -hmm. but there's stuff here. Stuff. Specifically in the other half of the LP. Not this LP, but yeah, this LP. Oh. And yes, you can run on top of the water without any ground, it's totally okay. Yeah, I think you've established that she was Jesus. Oh. oh, that's true, yeah. You can always walk on water. And over here we have an alpha. Mm. They're really just annoyances, but whatever, I have to do it. <laughs> I'm disabled. It's not really a big deal. It's just a lot of button mashing now for... Yeah, essentially. Uh -huh. I pretty much go into autopilot at this point. Oh, that sword has 
ridiculous range, by the way. Yeah, it's probably the oh. best in terms of using Wicked Waves. And there is an Alfheim that use, that says, use Wicked Waves only, so it's incredibly useful for that Alfheim. Uh, the fastest Wicked Weave combo is the Punch-Kick-Punch, punch, and it's just ridiculous on those Alfheims. Mm. Oh. oh. Get down. I realize you could air combo those guys, oh. but yeah, you can air combo them. Yeah, sometimes they'll scream, and if you get caught in that, as in if you don't dodge at the right time, uh -huh. then she'll get stunned. I she like this attack. Stylish, <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Uh -huh. You'll probably like some of the later ones too. Magic. Yeah, the uh, Tetsu Zenko, if you may remember from last episode, that re that requires three orbs of magic to to summon. Yeah. So yeah, that's why that's when magic becomes useful. So I could use the uh, the witch time water thing, but if you use two afterburner kicks, you get enough height to come up here anyway, saving me some time. So many hearts just lying around there, man. Yeah, he lays this stuff around. Yeah. God. How many poor women did he rip out those hearts? Oh. Okay. It's a thing. It's a. Uh, it's a thing. What's that called in English? Oh, it's a cosmos. Hourglass. Hourglass, right? It's like I know the Dutch word. So it's a thing that conveniently turns back time, uh -huh. and it's only used like in one other instance, I think. So can you use this like uh, you went in Prince of Persia or something? Just turn back time. <laughs> not quite. Oh. It's like, oh, whoops! I died. Oh, died. Uh, no, I did not die. That was just a bad memory. Mm. I like that game. Yeah, I need to finish it. Mm. Ah, uh, we left parody, so. Aww. Uh. Which, by the way, was a reference to Dante's Inferno. Haha, <laughs> I know stuff. <laughs> Dante's Inferno which is a ripoff of God of War. <laughs> no, no, wait. Not Dante's Inferno. This is just, uh. What's it called? The Divine Comedy. Oh, right. oh, yeah. I tried reading that, and it's, like, the worst book to try reading. I, like, it's got a. I've got a book which actually pretty much sums up the each chapter or whatever in maybe a paragraph, and I just read that instead. Uh -huh. Whatever, dude. I'm still getting the essence of like Dante's Inferno. <laughs> More affines? Yes, this yes. is the last one. This is the Wicked Wee one I'm talking. I was telling you about. So if you pretty much just spam punch, kick, punch, you will win. Okay. But there's really no need to use any other Wicked Wave. Because it has really good spread, and yeah. Just got used to her saying die all the time. Oh, okay. Punch, kick, punch. Dead. Yeah, I'm sort of cancelling the kick animation there because if you dodge offset the kick, it almost looks like you don't actually kick at all, and it's a lot faster. Rather than pressing punch, kick, punch individually. Get away from me! Or so if the guys could scream or something or yell at you or whatever, you get stunned. 
Yeah. Yeah. If you if you don't dodge at the right time. Uh, there it oh, is again. Japanese something. I don't speak Japanese. Ten years too early. All right. Yeah, that's probably one of the easiest and most pointless outlines. Oh well, more magic. Who cares? Yep. Your opponent realizes, but I'm cutting out a lot of loading screens here. <laughs> like in between each Alfheim and when you go into like Hell's uh, Gates of Hell, there's a loading screen. I gotta yeah. cut all that out. Yeah, I don't think we want to see that. So. Another LP. <laughs> that gargoyle in the background—it always annoys me because its head is so tiny. Tiny heads just look really awful. Oh man, this song. Have you ever have you ever heard or played of Clock Tower Three? This no. always reminds me of Clock Tower Three. Okay. It's such an awesome piano piece too. Try that, Toho guys. Actually, they probably can do that. <laughs> it was a close one this time. This bad boy might even be hard for you to get a handle on. It's a whip. Yep. Made of a snake. Yep. Ah. It summons different kinds of snake from the portal that it's hilt. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> that's, the, that's what the description says. Like, uh -huh. about a portal at it's hilt. Time to get a new accessory yes, because I want it. more accessories. Such an accessory bitch. Yeah, I need to accessorize. Yeah. Makes it look way better. Okay, so Gaze of Despair. It, ma it automatically enrages all your enemies, so you get 1.5 times combo points. So basically you don't need to worry about combo points anymore, uh, but it also means that... Oh yeah, okay. here's, a new move. here's a new move that we bought. It's pretty much useless, apart from getting invincibility frames. Uh -huh. Anything else? Yes, equip that whip. Just whip, whip it, it good. Yeah, <laughs> whip it good. But yeah, if enemies are enraged, they also attack a little bit faster. Uh -huh. So you need to be on your toes. I just wanted the challenge because normal was just a little bit too easy for me. Otherwise, I would have saved it for a better accessory. Oops, spawn point. So you can use the whip to actually grab enemies. Like you can pull them into you. And you can also use them to uh, swing enemies around. So you're just gonna go like Indiana Jones in their asses? Awesome. Uh, kind of. Like if you if you pull the stick a certain way, you can swing, you can spin them around you, and you can hit everyone in hit, hit everyone in the radius. Which is pretty nice. Mm, what else is it for? Uh, oh yeah, the whip is good for in the air Alphimes. Guy, God. So you die already? Okay. Exactly. He like missed my wicked weave and everything. But yeah, whip. The whip has pretty limited use. But it's good to pair with the sword. Uh -huh. Like if you pull enemies in, then switch to the sword, and you can have a nice combo going. Why do these bridges keep breaking? It's bayonetta. Everything uh -huh. breaks underneath her. Oh, see. She has no regard for architecture. QTE. Now I don't know no. what happens if you miss that QTE. Probably just die. Yeah, I like most fall missing QTE lava. things. And the lava here screams, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So annoying. Oh, I almost got you. I was like, really you have to be careful not to get hit. Don't get hit. It's like, no need to be careful. Ah, uh, and then I was like, mm, 
Should I redo that? I was like, no, I can't be bothered. Because it doesn't count towards the, the award anyway. Okay. Like, if you get hurt in a verse, it counts, but if you don't get hurt in a verse, then it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. It'll still show up in your final result. I did that. Going up. Convenient moon coming yeah. up. It's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. There we go. Gone. Very convenient, yeah. thank you, Moon. And as always, something is right around here. Help time. Oh. More notes. Right. Slash care. The old Coliseum. Benders are like, I don't really yeah, care, that's on fire, care. <laughs> whatever. I'm out here, everyone else is dead, I don't care. No. I'm out of here. What a psychopath. Final Crow. Rather sneaky. Guess what's coming up next. Is it a QTE? No, oh. that's the end of the chapter. Oh. Yes, you failed. But look, guys, it's still a pure platinum, oh. even though I got hurt. Fuck you, ah. screaming lava. You cracked the system. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Mummy is the best. And oh, that's guys, it. this is so exciting. Oh. It's a boss fight. <laughs> 